Skip over the intro because I'm back. Look at, hold up. We're only, we was only like, what, three minutes in? For one, in the first 10 seconds, he was already on bullshit. In my opinion, he came in swinging guns of glory. Pause. You feel me? Like, we can even get through the first 10 seconds and he was just like, oh, so you, you was on bullshit. You allowed all this shit to happen. You allowed these people to come in and disrespect my name. You, you, you. And Shannon Sharp just like, <laughs> what did I sign up for? This is what you signed up to. Bitch, we back with part two. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Tune in. Tune in. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. But but we we with this one right now. All right, let's get back to Ricky, it. Ricky Smiley knows this and i don't know why he would lose a child and come on the air and start lying that's why people believe in rituals right there is because well why would he lie i don't know why liars i don't even know what's going on he said he lost a child and he got on the internet and lied that's just work the how how we gonna start i he got his mouth covered because he don't even know what type of facial expression to make I don't even know what to say to this. Hold up. But I can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. Okay. Yes. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of money. I don't think a liar going to have the, the actual number. Because me personally, if I was out here lying, throwing out numbers, I ain't going to say I was 201. Me personally, I would have probably gave it a better number. But to say that you was like 200 on a total poll, you got to be telling some factual. You got to be telling, you got to be saying something factual. It's no lie in the rap. It, it only depends on if somebody come out here and say, you're lying. And me personally, when a person come out here and say they lying, mm, got to be true. Got to be true. Something, something that person said bothers you a little bit. A little bit. Me personally. With me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days. Four days, liar. That's what I'm saying. He came with facts. I don't know what's going on. But, like, how the hell you get the role? How, we, we need some answers. How the hell you get the role if 200... If 200 other people was before Cat Williams, or if 199 people was before, see that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm, you lost me right there. If you was 201, right? That means, that means 199 people was before you, Cat Williams. I'm just saying. What if, what if Ricky Smiley was number one, and they just loved him so much? What if they just loved him so much that that they just allowed him to to get the job? I don't I don't know. I don't know. But the fact that you said 201, that means it was 199 people before you. And then Ricky, Ricky had to been at least number one or number two. Right? Right? The truth of the matter is, the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom. And that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. What the fuck? What? We seven minutes in, and and people, people talking spicy. I can see it. I can see it. Pause, pause, pause. Nope, we gonna finish it. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast okay. and the powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, okay. humbly, guys, okay. if we're talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull. Okay. But we're talking about comedy, right? where I have all the credibility and all the pull. The problem with Friday After Next is we're trying to make a classic comedy. And this comedy involves a rape. 
Yeah, that, that shit would have been off. That shit would have been off. Because why why are we doing that in the first place? Whoever. Ice Cube, bring your bring your ass closer. You trying to tell me that, that, that this is what you was writing? For a black man to get, yeah? No, 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 no. Q, really? This is what you signed? This is what you're doing? Get the... Nah. Nah. We need, we need Cube to come out and say that was never in the original script. I need, I need Cube to come out and say that that was never in the original script. I'm going to give you... I, I'm a little small channel. I'm going to give you at least... Fucking what? 60 days? 60 days to find out? Y'all snip, y'all snap, crackle, and pop this, this shit. We need some answers. Because ain't no way in hell he wrote that in the script. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying that one. We need some answers, Cube. Come on, give us the answers. Let's get back. And rape is never funny, no matter who it happens to Facts. or what the circumstances Facts. are. If you would allow me to allow us to do this movie without a black man getting raped in it, Facts. I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him getting raped. Okay, yeah. So considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? Yeah. 35 yeah. members of the cast. Yeah. Why would why the fuck Ricky was gonna say that he was gonna be the original um pimpin' pimpin'? If, if this is the original script, why? You you should have told us. You should have told us, yo, the original script said I I I and I felt like I I want to distance myself from that. And I want to be Santa Claus. In my opinion, and I ain't nobody, but in my opinion, that's what I thought would have been the thing. And crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was going to play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? Why? Yeah, why that fuck that wasn't in the bloopers? Because y'all y'all throwing out nonsense. I want to throw out nonsense too. Because he said he was 5'2", 5'1". Why we don't see that, that suit floating around? Why nobody concurred with this that's going around? I need answers. And if nobody going to give me answers, I'm just going to say, I'm going to call a spade a spade. He's telling the truth. He's telling the truth, right? Comment down below right now if you think he's telling the truth. And, and here's the other thing. Everything that Money Mike said, Cat Williams wrote. So what did mm. Smiley say on his? Okay. You can't say my lines, I wrote them. Facts. I don't know facts. That's how I already, already know. We're going to keep our off like this? You. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, and, and don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious. Not now. Then. Okay. He was so egregious. that, And Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious. I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? Oh, you bet he did. It's in my What what movie was that? It was really First Sunday. Who, who who was his character then? Who was Ricky Smiley's character in First Sunday? I don't I don't know. I'm confused. Who was Ricky Smiley's character in First Sunday? I remember Cat Williams in it. But who was Ricky Smiley's character? Comment, comment down below if y'all know, like, Ricky Smiley's character. Contract. 
Why would you put that in your in your contract, cat? That's where he's the unbelievable actor. <laughs> Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man, let's say they like. <laughs> they play good women. And I, I don't I, I don't even fuck with <laughs> Hey, that's a different story, but yo, that's crazy. We here with it. We here with it. You feel me? The best actor should be in the best role. Okay. So that's why Talk because shit, when we King. released that clip and he said that you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and okay. you were supposed to play, play Santa Claus. Not an outright lie. So, that he knows is a lie. Okay. So why would he say it? I don't know. He's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to tell him. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do we really know why liars lie, but are they just be lying? Just to lie? Have you lied just to lie? I, I you know, like. Graham, Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the Comedy Store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised... Uh, I don't get that because, like, probably, probably he was just saying, like, hypothetically, hypothetically, this happened in 2017 and you did it in 2018 because Kings of Comedy came out in, like, 1990. Far as I know, shit. I don't know exactly when, but I'm just saying, like, well, all right, cool. We got to do some cross cross facts, cross facts checks. That Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom okay. and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Ooh. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. <laughs> hey, yo, look here. We get it a little spicy now. This is what I've been talking about. Look, I've been trying to figure out like, yo, yo, people have been saying for the longest, um, Steve Harvey, shit, I, 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 fake. He randomly popped out. He random, this nigga randomly popped out with a body. Bitch, if your shit was like, ah, for the longest, why you pop out with the body? Answer that. Answer that. Because if you really styling and profiling, you don't need the body, right? Right? Because we ain't never seen the little thinning. We ain't never seen the thinnings. So why you popped out with the body? That's right. This nigga was wearing a motherfucking lace front before lace fronts was a thing. He was lying to us. He's a liar, right? Okay, cool. Then you asked him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I did hear about that. I did hear about that. I did hear about Steve Harvey hating on Bernie Mac. I did hear about that. So, so, he probably not lying. He's probably not lying right now. He, he's, he's on to something. Ooh, 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 ooh. He on to something. With my twin, with my, yeah, he on to something right now because I did hear about something. Don't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that Ooh. can't talk good over <laughs> Cabin and look like Mr. Potato. <laughs> you have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got I'm not fueled by it, huh? <laughs> and that's what I'm saying Buddy took a little And been on 10 Ever since the first 10 seconds And the fact that he said I don't know Cal We can't probably let you drink no more That Then they proceeded to lift up the drink To go drink some more Something ain't right The math ain't mathing The math ain't mathing I've had a sip Less than you Yeah
I don't know. I don't know. Is that it? It is we is is we popping is we popping it how we want it? Because right now we popping it right how, how I feel like we should be popping it. Me personally. I hey, look it. Like I said, this part two. This part two. We about to chop and screw all this little thing up. Hey, if you fuck with the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. Hey. Until next time, hey, comment down below what you want me to see me react to next. Ayo!